Welcome to Grown Your Own Food in Your Own Backyard. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the like button. This video is about overwinter, overwintering a stevia plant and propagating stevia from cuttings. I started this stevia plant from seeds in spring of 2019. Now, during the summer of 2019, my stevia plant was placed on my patio and it received morning sun and afternoon shade. It did, I did lose one of the plants that I started from seed, but I continued growing this one. So I had two plants at one time, but one died back and I continued growing this one here. Now keep in mind, because Stevia's herb is not cold tolerant, I'm grown in a container, which is allowing me to overwinter indoors. My Stevia plant is currently overwintering indoors under my grow light. Stevia grows best in warm conditions similar to those preferred by basils. And these plants can grow up to 24 inches tall and wide. Now that my plant is about a little over 12 feet tall, as you can see, it's gotten very leggy. It will need to be pruned back in order for me to maximize production and also stimulate some leaf growth down here at the bottom stem. I do not want to harvest my stevia just yet because stevias are very difficult to propagate from seeds. And I was able to propagate this from seed. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some cuttings from this plant and start trying to propagate from leaf cuttings. So the first thing I want to do is take some alcohol and sterilize my scissors always want to do this with your pruners and your scissors just to ensure that you're not transferring any bacteria or unwanted bad stuff. So now that I have done that I'm going to take a few cuttings. I want to do about two to four inches. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this one and I want to go ahead and remove the leaves from this particular cutting. And I wanna make sure that I have a couple of nodes, cause that's where the roots are gonna come from. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove most of the leaves, but I want to try to leave about four leaves at the top and leave nodes on the stem. And I already have a container of moist organic mix, which I've already poked holes in my mix. So I'm just going to go ahead and set that in the hole and just press down, just like this. And I'm going to do this process again. So I'm going to go ahead and take this one off. I really want to do a sharp cut back because I want to try to stimulate leaf uh, right here. So this is about four inches. So I'm gonna go ahead and start removing the leaves. Got quite a bit of nodes, that looks great. Go ahead and leave about four leaves at the top. OK. 
Okay, there you have it. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this down just a tad bit. And just stick it in this hole just like that. And I will continue this process. Go ahead and cut this back. And I'm going to cut this back. And I'm doing a sharp pruning. And the reason why is because I waited too late to start cutting back. And I should have been pinching from the top, but I wasn't ready to start harvesting the leaves. And I start should have been doing this when the plant was eight inches tall, but as you can see, it got really leggy. And so hopefully I can start um, getting some leaves here at the very bottom. So again, I'll just continue with the process of removing all the leaves, making sure I have two or more nodes. Oops. Go ahead and stick that in there. And I'll continue with this process. Stevia plants are very easy to grow, very difficult to propagate from seeds, but I, bit, I was successful propagating them from seeds. But this is a simpler process just to propagate more plants with leaf cutting. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure that hole is deep enough for me to push that in. I want this to be a little deeper, so I'm going to push down a little more. <clears throat> this is fairly long, so I'm gonna cut this down. But if you notice, I've left. If you notice, I've left about one, two nodes. That's important for the roots to start propagating. And I want to get a lot of leaf production down here. So as you can see, this stevia plant got cut back quite a bit. And then I have one more that I'm going to continue with the process. Remove all the leaves till I have maybe about four at the top. Again, got quite a bit of nodes. And I'm gonna go ahead and create another hole in here and push it down into the hole like this. All right, so I've just got through completing propagating stevias from my plant cutting. So what I want to do is now water the plants or the little cuttings the soil was fairly moist. Now what I want to do is place this pot in a plastic bag. And the purpose of this is to create condensation. Because now remember, the cuttings have no roots. And I don't want the cuttings to dry out. So I can control how much moisture this plant gets. So once it starts building up a lot of condensation, I can open it up like this and release condensation and water the plant. But it's important that these cuttings stay moist. I want to do the same with this one as well. They've both been water. There you go. Now these cuttings are going to grow are going to go under my grow light. I'm going to monitor the condensation, make sure the cuttings don't dry out. And in the meantime, this stevia plant hopefully would be able to help me maximize my leaf 
production down here and actually force some shoots out at the bottom to allow this stevia plant to bush out. So there you go, overwintering a stevia plant indoors under a grow light. This plant would be a year old in April of 2020. Again, it was started from seeds. It has done well during the summer months. It's done well coming in, adapting to the new indoor environment under my grow light. It obviously is growing very, very well. Unfortunately, getting very leggy, but that's okay because now I'm gonna be able to get additional plants from these cuttings and I'm gonna get leaf production and actually get more um, um, and maximize my um, stevia plant bushing out. So there you have it, overwinning stevia and propagating stevia from cuttings. I will be giving you an update on this in about a couple of months and stay tuned for my next video on how to harvest stevia. Thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the like button.